In this video, we will be walking you through a step-by-step -step process to install the Haas One RKHO.P Touchless Sensor Retrofit Kit with Plug-in Transformer. However, the following steps will remain almost entirely the same for the One RKHO.H Touchless Sensor Retrofit Kit with Hardwired Transformer. For retrofits involving multiple fountains or bottle fillers, kits with additional sensors are available. Simply repeat each of the following steps for each sensor being installed. A splitter will be included with some of the kits to allow for one transformer to supply power to multiple sensors. Begin by removing the contents of the one RKHO.P and ensure that all parts are accounted for. If installing the H version of the kit, the only difference will be the power supply. Recommended tools include a spanner wrench, pause part number 000-698-3506 available through our website. This is not supplied but can often be found underneath each Haas drinking fountain. A set of Allen keys is also recommended along with an adjustable wrench or channel locks and lastly a Phillips head screwdriver. Utilizing either the Allen keys or the Phillips head screwdriver Remove the access plate underneath the fountain, exposing the supply and drain lines. Follow this by removing the louvered access panel below the fountain or similar access plate if one is installed. Next, turn off the water supply. Disconnect the 3 8 inch tubing from each side of the 5874 push button valve. Now use the spanner wrench to remove the button by inserting the spanner forks and turning the button counterclockwise. Next, loosen the nut holding the valve in place using the adjustable wrench or the channel locks. Lastly, remove the stainless nut on the front of the valve and remove the 5874 valve from the drinking fountain body. Flush water through the supply lines thoroughly before installing the system. Do not allow dirt, Teflon tape, or metal particles to enter the solenoid valve. Empty the contents of the sealed package and set aside the sensor-operated label that comes with the valves until after installation. Do this while paying special attention to the arrows on both the Y strainer and solenoid valve that indicate the direction water should flow through each device. Then, assemble the Y strainer, solenoid valve, and regulator valve using 3 8 inch OD tubing in the order specified on page 4 of the included installation, operation, and maintenance instructions as seen here. Lastly, when connecting the regulator, ensure that the solenoid valve is connected to the in opening on the regulator and the out opening is connected to the bubbler. On 
some models, there may be a lack of space inside of the fountain body, so it is recommended that the regulator be installed in the fountain body for quick access, while the strainer and solenoid be installed behind the fountain to save space. If necessary, or enough space is available, you can of course install the Y strainer, solenoid valve, and regulator valve inside of the fountain body. After installation of the valves, turn the water back to the on position and check each connection point for leaks before moving on. Unscrew the mounting hardware attached to the back of the sensor and carefully remove both the nut and washer by sliding them over the wiring. Then, slide the wiring through the hole on the front of the fountain where we previously removed the mechanical push button. Now, inside of the fountain body, replace the mounting hardware by again sliding both the nut and washer over the wiring bundle and re-thread them onto the sensor. Ensure that the text on the sensor is oriented correctly before tightening the nut and sensor into its final position. If you installed the solenoid behind the fountain, which is recommended, feed the wiring bundle from the sensor through any available opening in the mounting panel at the rear of the fountain body. First plug in the red and black wire from the sensor into the solenoid valve. Next, plug in the white and black wire from the sensor into the 9 volt plug in transformer. For the one RKHO.P, plug the 9 volt transformer into a duplex receptacle. If installing the one RKHO.H, ensure first that the power has been turned off at the breaker before installation. Wire the transformer to appropriate power per NEC, CEC, and local codes. Clear the area in front of the sensor or sensors and allow them to calibrate for at least 10 seconds before operation. You may now activate the sensor and make any adjustments that may be needed to the solenoid valve and stream height. Using a flathead, turn the regulator clockwise to increase flow and counterclockwise to decrease flow. You may now reinstall all the previously removed panels from the fountain. Optionally, the sensor-operated label you had previously set aside can now be installed. You have now successfully installed the 1RKHO.P or 1RKHO.H. Thank you for watching our installation guide. For further guidance, please reach out to our customer service team at 1-775-359 4712 or visit us at www.hosco.com.